Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Listen, what you're about to watch is some shout casting from the Halo Championship Series events that took place in Raleigh, North Carolina between December 17th and today, which is Sunday the 19th, so you guys may see this on the 20th. Uh, basically, we're shout casting maps four and five in the grand finale between Cloud9 versus E United. And yeah, yeah, I was trying to wake up. I was wanting to shout cast more of it, but I only got to do some of the last parts here for the championship. And for to crown our first Halo Infinite uh, Halo HCS champion, basically. So yeah, anyways, we're going to bleed right into the gameplay, or right into the, the commentary slash shoutcasting, so I hope you guys enjoy. I just woke up, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do this, all right? <clears throat> oh, took a nap. I'm going to hop into it. I've been watching. I may come back and do this better. <clears throat> but this is it. All right, hold on. I got to take a sip of water. Watch this for a second. Here we are in the Halo Championship Series for Raleigh, North Carolina, the first Halo Infinite event. And we are on board right now with Ryan Oob for E United. Down three games to zero. If Cloud9, C9 wins one more game. I got to mute this because they're also talking. If Cloud9, C9 takes one more game, that is it. They are your first Halo Infinite Halo Championship Series champions. However, they're doing these tournaments here we go a run right here by rain throws the almost said throws the ball throws the flag up and there's going to be the first capture of the game for e united e united has to win this game they are in crunch time can they come back from being down 3-0 is that even possible in a halo tournament big kill there for nick now on a killing spree going to come right up just going to try to put some shots on get out shot hopping back over to renegade who's now down to a one shot punching a wall He's also dead. One dead for both team. It looks like over back with Penguin wearing the hat, wearing it down. The Cloud9 dad hat with the commando. Gets shots, flips back. He says, hold this, brother. Gets the shots with the commando, flips back to the battle rifle for the kill. Going to get a nade and taken down. Heat wave here for Rain. His name is Rain, right? It's not like some weird spelling of Ryan. Rain, going to get an assist across map. Going to pull the flag. They're looking for their second flag cap down. With one player down for Cloud9. A little bit of flag running. Not as smooth as it used to be back in Halo 3, it appears. Here comes Echo. Just going to put some shots on. Try to get that flag return. Got two people running away from him. Looking up top door there. Yellow Utility. Going to come out and check. Looks like the flag's going to get returned. There's one guy right there. He misses the jump. Second time's a charm. Flag's already gone. Putting shots on. Going to get absolutely shit on right there. Pushing up here. Renegade picks up a kill. He's now hits a perfect Going to run away from the action. Going to double back here, looking to help out his teammate who just went down. One down for Cloud9, one down for E United. Tough position here. Penguin goes down. See who makes the next move to get a pull. E United staying at their flag spawn, missing those last shots. Flag taken, flag stolen. Both teams now have the flag. Both teams are going to take their routes and make their runs to see if Cloud9 can potentially make this a 1-1 game. Hopping back over with Cloud9 with Penguin. Looking up there at the flag, seeing who he has to kill. Back with EU United. They're actually getting the second flag cap. I couldn't really pay attention to much things going on right there. Again, I just fucking woke up. 2-0 now. What was this first to five? Is it first to five or first to three on this map? I honestly can't remember. I'm, I don't even know where I'm at right now. Back with Penguin. Team down two flag caps to none with 720 left. They have to make a big play here. Looks like the entire team for E United is in the back because we're going to trade right there. Two down for both teams. And here comes a pull by Stellar for Cloud9 with the flag being stolen. Going to see how far he can get it. Going to turn around, throw a frag, try to play a little bit of defense, offense at the same time. He gets back up here from Echo. Eco. Sorry, his name is Eco. It's not Echo. Stellar switches the pistol, comes back to the flag. Down good line of sights to take him out. Eco checking his surrounding, trying to pick up another kill here for Cloud9. One down for E United, one down for Cloud9. Checking his surroundings, going to get shot back in their flag room. Checking out his movement, his maneuverability. Hopping back up behind two players. Go ahead and put shots on, let them know he's there. Could have played that a little more stealthily. Sparty McFly looks to be a one shot. There's another player there. He picks up one. See if he can get some shots here on Sparty. Big plays. Double kill. 
No chance for the triples. Ryan, who comes to clean him up. Two down, though, for E United in that brief span. I don't think Cloud9 made any progress. Looks like that flag actually was returned. Without the audio, I really can't hear, <laughs> can't hear shit. I don't know what's happening. You need the audio, brother. Coming back around, back in the flag room. There's a pickup for Ping. One's going to grab the flag, push it back over here to the right-hand side to that yellow utility. Just going to pull it, just going to move it, going to avoid some fire, waiting for his teammates, waiting for some backup here. He's going to push, poke back out, touching the flag just to keep it alive. Going to throw the flag from up to down. Oh, active camo here for Renegade. Throwing some, <laughs> throwing some flags. Throwing some frags over. Trying to make his way. Going to get a little thruster boost. Going to make some jumps here. He's behind a player. Throws a frag. Gets the nade shot. Sees another player helping out his teammate, trying to pick up a double kill. See if his teammate can clean that up for him. Back over to the flag room. There's another player right behind him that he's not aware of. Going to get that kill. Look behind. Looks like all of E United back to their flag room. They are playing defense the best way that they can. Marty McFly going to get absolutely just outmaneuvered because of the thruster. Going to make him an absolute one shot for his teammate. There's a kills assist. He can't escape. Back with Penguin. Going to put a bunch of shots on. Penguin goes down to two down for Cloud9, one down for E United. This looks to be, at the moment, E United's game and a chance for them to bring this back to make it a 3-1 series, but there's still five minutes left. Anything could happen with the way Cloud9's been playing in this tournament, the way everybody's been playing. When it comes to slaying, so far, Cloud9, everybody kind of even on their team. Nick, 18-10 and 10 so far over here for E United. Sparty McFly with 11 assists. Ryan Noob, nines across the board with two flag caps, playing out of his mind as he gets taken out the second we talk about him. Three down, actually, now for Cloud9. E United can make a play here, maybe pull a little bit of offense to get the third flag cap, or they could still play defense and hold this out for another four and a half minutes. These will be a long four and a half minutes for E United, especially being down 3-0. Nick trying to pick up another kill. He gets taken down in the process. Two down for Cloud9. E United, this is a good chance to pull the flag. Spartan's going to grab it. He's going to go left side. Both teams taking similar routes, running it through this hallway right here. Going to pick the flag. Flag drop, flag taken, flag drop, flag taken. Shots here by Spartan. Switching over to the Heat Wave. He's going to eat that frag, and he's going to go down as well. Two down now for E United as Renegade tries to make a push over to their flag room. Throwing a frag. A little bit of back smack action there. Shout out Tom T Squared Taylor. Nick right there getting some shots on him. Nick's a two shot, one shot, and he's dead. One other player back in the flag room. It's Sparty McFly. Here comes a Nate in. He's going to get taken down from the backside. Ryan Noob hopping up back over here to Stellar. Looking to clean up some peeps, holding the fresh active camo. Going to put shots, help clean up that kill. Just two down for E United. They have one player back up. Still no pools here for Cloud9 with three and a half minutes left. They're down two flag caps. They need to get two. They can force some overtime if they get that second one. Sparty McFly playing defense in the back. This is a defensive setup here. There's two down for actual E United. It looked like. Switching back over to Rain, he's going to take down Cloud9, halt their momentum as we get close to 3.14, 316, Stone Cold Steve Austin, 3.14 for some pie, one down. Here comes a flag pull from Penguin. We're going to see if they can get anything going with it as he's getting shots. He is a one shot, a flag fumble. He's going to throw the flag down. We'll see the rotation here from E United. We're going to see if we can get one cap from Cloud9. He looks to have a straight shot. Nobody in front of him. Nobody in his way. Could this be a flag cap for Cloud9? It looks to be that way. And there is a flag cap for Cloud9. C9 making this a 2-1 game. And just like that in the span of not even 20 seconds, they get a flag cap. So this 240 left on the clock is going to be a very, very, very long two and a half minutes. Heat wave kill there for Stellar. They're going to look for a second pull. If they get this flag, if they can get another cap, they can force OT and make this interesting and try to win this 4-0 in a clean sweep. If not, they still have plenty of time to win this entire series. Even if they drop this, there would still be at the most three more games. E United can play absolutely out of their mind. They're going to go back into their defensive stance with that heat wave. He gets one, but he gets dropped as well. Back with Spartan for E United. Looking up, going to put shots right there with the commando. Looking to go clean up the kill. Chasing the one shot. Getting him taken down as he's a one shot himself. Three down, it looked like, for a moment for E United. Maybe it was two. I can't tell because they have Nick's name highlighted. I never know when he's dead or not. He's 23 and 14 with eight assists. Ryan Noob, 16 kills, 16 deaths, 13 assists, two flag caps, 12 assists for both Sparty McFly and Rain. Over here for Cloud9, Eco has 19 kills and 11 assists. Everybody playing great. 
playing good. Nobody's choking. Nobody's carrying too hard other than Nick right there in the KD realm. Eco playing smart with the active camo. Eco should grab this flag and run it straight middle. There's one down. There's another player in the back. Nick going to post up heat wave, big shots, good flag pull, throw it to your teammates, going to get taken down. Penguin unable to get that flag thrown to him. Nick's going to hop up there with the heat wave, making use of the sandbox. It's 3-0. Penguin trying to run away, gets taken down. Two dead for Cloud9. There is going to be, are you ready for it? One minute warning, 60 seconds left. It's this moment where your asshole gets a little bit tighter than usual. Stellar's down. They have to make a play. You see how fast you can cap a flag if you get the kills. This is up to E-United to play great defense, and it looks to be they're going to do that as there's 45 seconds remaining. One down for each team. Renegade trying to get a kill here on Ryan Noob. Going to get taken down from behind with the back smack. A wingman there for Stellar. One down. We have just 30 seconds left in game number four, map four. Can Cloud9 pull it out? 20 bomb for Eco, 27 and 15 for Nick. Just absolutely posting big KD numbers with nine assists. I'm pretty sure he's close to a triple-double. If he can get just one more assist, go ahead, throw a frag at his feet. Renegade, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Cloud9 knows that it's a wrap. 3, 2, one and E United is not getting swept out the building. Put your broomsticks up. It's not going to happen here. Three one for Cloud Nine. Moving in to map number five. Everybody take a swig of water. Can E United pull off an ultimate upset here? Can they win the next three games to come take this series? So far, we've seen so many games go to a game five in this Halo Championship series. So many game fives. So many incredible moments. Can we see a huge upset by E United or Cloud9 being up 3-0? Maybe they didn't want to sweep them out. Maybe they played too relaxed. Not enough offense. Not enough pushes. Maybe E United just played the perfect defense. They got those flag caps. They played back. I don't remember the next couple of games. If it comes down to a Slayer, I'm going to give the edge to Cloud9, even though Nick played out of his mind. It comes down to a strongholds, Cloud9. We see how easily they can rotate and win those things. Big plays from E United. It's going to be very interesting to see how they play in map number five. Again, map five, map six if needed, map seven if needed. Cloud9 just needs one more W to bring this home. Just one. Just one win to become the Raleigh Halo Series champion champion. <laughs> Halo Series, cha Halo Championship Series champion. Oh, man. Here in the grand effing finals. Bro, I'm sweating. So the next game is Slayer on Bazaar, followed by Oddball, followed by Street Slayer if necessary. I think I give this full advantage here to Cloud9 on Slayer on Bazaar. <clears throat> Apologize me. Late start there. Three down to start things off for both teams. It's three to three here on board with Spartan. Spartan in their BR room, commando room. Going to get some shots on Penguin. Down goes Penguin. Early lead here for E United looking to pull off the ultimate effing upset. There's a thruster. Big shots there. 7-7, seven to seven, just like that. Big trades. Nick, who played out of his mind in the KD realm in the last game for CTF, played great defense. There goes two rockets out. Eco's going to pick up one kill, taking down Nick with it. Another kill there by Penguin. Two down. For E United, 9-7 to seven lead. First team to 50 wins. You've all played Halo Slayer. Sparty McFly picking up the Carol. The Carol. <laughs> Sparty picking up the kill there on Eco. Zowie Wowie. I guess we could probably go full generic shoutcast mode. Hop it on board here with Penguin right down here next to Camel. There comes a big frag in from Renegade to take him. He's going to wait for Nades to spawn. 13-9, Cloud9 looking for a noob shot right there. Renegade gets taken out. Back into a locker room over to Rain, looking over at Rocket spawn. Looking down, gets Penguin, gets some shots on him. Penguin's going to go down. He gets a marksman medal. It's 11-13. to Losing is what E-United's doing at the moment. Spartan has a mangler and a battle rifle. Going to go there for the front big door. The big gate has the grapple shot. Going to repulse away, fly away like Spider-Man. Go watch Spider-Man No Way Home. It's an absolute banger. 
Spartan right here with it with the Mangler watching the act. Is that Overshield? I can't fucking tell. Getting shots on Penguins locker to locker down by three kills at the moment. Spartan just kind of hanging out there looking for Overshield. He thrusters in, steals Overshield. Did he get to use it? Did he get to burn it? No, he didn't. Stellar says, thank you very much. I'll take that. Hit him with a hashtag. Yoink. Here comes Stellar pushing in. Big shots with the Mangler. Rain goes down. Big double kill. Killing spree for Stellar. Putting some shots on Sparty McFly. And there's a big triple kill. you love to see it. Stellar looking for the overkill. Looking for the extermination. Not going to get one. Throwing frags. Pacing himself. Getting shot from the back. There's a shot. There's a shot. Mangler. Mangler. Going to run through big doors. No equipment. Can't get away too fast. Cohen playing dip duck a -roo. what's he gonna do next they're up 20 to 7 it's a seven kill lead here for cloud nine in map number five up three one over e united getting shots putting on him by sparty mcfly it's gonna go ahead and take him out and thrust away back over here with renegade they're up five kills they need 30 that's all they need is 30 kills the other team being e united needs 35 this is a race at this point he's looking to get the cheeky cheeky one shot melee kill here with somebody with the mangler they're throwing frags down goes sparty mcfly there's a marksman medal he switches back to the mangler hanging out in the corner rockets here for Rhinoob. there should have been an easy kill makes him a one shot gonna clean it up though he has rockets shooting him at his feet there's a smooth double kill can he get a triple gonna put a shots on eco who just misses the triple kill does ryan noob that could have put a lot of momentum in the hands of e united eco still goes down rain rotating back into the middle of the map it's 24 20 things are getting interesting shots being on a little dance there's a nade rains a one shot pushes back but they're gonna trade simple as that Stellar putting shots back over there to the lockers, putting shots on Sparty McFly across map at their commando spawn. Overshield's about to come up in just a second. Cloud9's playing for it. They're looking. They're watching. They're getting kills. Penguin sees a guy right there on the left side, steps. Nick on one side, another player on the other. One second for Overshield. They could use it to bait, or they could just go get it. Penguin picks it up. Going to go ahead and not pop. He's going to save it. Wait to get those electricity grenades. He's going to push on over here with a full kit. My man has Overshield. He drops it instead of swapping. Big plays. Throws that. Big double kill. Making use. Uh, he didn't get a double. Making use of the grapple shot. Making use of the overshield. Fully equipped. Fully geared. Making E United retreat back to their base. They are down eight kills with seven and a half minute to go. One of the Slayer games earlier didn't go the full distance. It actually came down to a time limit decision. Here we go, 33-25 Spartan here for E United up in the locker room. Coming around here at their tree, getting shot at across map, tree to tree. Nick putting on shots. They don't want to engage there. Switches out to the assault rifle. Going to pick up the needler. No needler for him. Could use the sandbox. You can switch to the assault rifle. It's super overpowered. Going to come back in here, getting shot from big door. Rain pushes in. Rain runs away. Stellar. Cloud9 kind of playing a little bit defensively. Sparty McFly is a one shot. Going to take him out. 35-27 now for Cloud9. Pushing in here to their locker room. There's the assault rifle getting the assist. Going back over to Renegade now. Renegade with that Bulldog. Bulldog, not a fan. Going to run past the grapple shot, actually. Maybe gotten a call out right there. Going to put shots on with the Bulldog. Going to pick up an easy kill there on Ryan Noob. Getting shot again. Oh, he's going to go down very easily. Couldn't make the jump. You hate to see it. 38-29. Things are going to get intense here in the final six minutes. Here's what happens in these situations. You're down almost 10 kills. You're going to start to get tight. It's just something that happens. Your hands are going to get sweaty. Your brain is going to get scrambled. You want to make a big play, but you don't want to push up. You have to stay calm. You have to stay patient. You have to just wait for things to come to you. It's 40 to 30. One team has to get 10 kills. The other has to get 20. Scratch that. Make that. Both teams. One team needs to get nine. The other 19. This is a race to the finish. Cloud9 is looking to clutch this out. Nick trying to make some big plays here. So far in the KD realm, Stellar 16 and 7 with 6 assists. Renegade has 14 kills. Penguin 7s across the board. Eco 6 and 8, but he has 5 assists. Over here for E United, 11 and 8 is Sparty McFly. Ryan Noob is 7 and 11. Nick, who popped off the last game, is just 5 and 13. Not able to play as well as he did in the last game. Now that we're playing Slayer and Rain is 11 and 13. Now, 
four kills away for Cloud9 to take this home. Make that three. It's 47-35. This is the final push with just over five minutes left on board here with Renegade with the Mangler. He sees his teammates getting shot. Two kills remaining for Cloud9. Everybody in the base of EU's base. You want to play smart. One kill left here for Cloud9. It's 49-36. One kill away. There's the grapple shot. Switch over to somebody who can actually get the final kill. They're going to go back as EU Knight is going to run away to try to pull off a fucking miracle here. And there it is. Cloud9 is your Halo Championship Series Raleigh Grand Final winners. Simple as that. Cloud9, the favorite to win this. They're going to pull it home. They're going to drop the big W. It's the team I predicted to win. They win four games to one almost the clean sweep almost got the broomsticks out and the dustpan but they escape with just dropping one effing game cloud nine shows up winner's bracket whole way through they show that they are the most dominant team in halo infinite so far this the first major tournament for halo infinite you love to see it you love to see these players come out and play absolutely out of their mind huge shout out to cloud nine i'm gonna turn the audio back on hell yes at least he's honest you can't see the tears in his eyes man halo is back that is the big thing He's basically cuddling, brother. So hard online, you know. People say we don't think take things very serious, but I mean, I feel like we show we're pretty serious team today. Yeah, I think you guys definitely did show you was really serious. All right. Hell yeah, I love the tears in their eyes, dude. It's so good. Yeah, to go show some love in the crowd. Okay. What does this event mean for you? Oh, dude, it's my first event win for four and four. Give it up for. It's about time. I think I was. I was one under nated for most grand finals appearances without a win. So if I would have lost, I would have been tied with him. So I needed that one. Hey, well, you got it in. Congratulations, man. brother. Congratulations. The right way. Now come on over. Ooh, the coach. Okay. The coach. Give him a round of applause because he, he came away. Coaches are underrated. Commendation and got it done and got these boys in shape. How you feeling? Man, I feel so fantastic, man. I'm so proud of these guys. The... The trials and tribulations of this team, uh, most people will never know, but, you know, we all went through it together. And we hey, man, shout out and them. We're just, we're just shout out them. We yep. Were. And, uh, yeah, here we are. All right. Here we are. All right, man. Come on. Come on over, Renegade, okay? Renegade. It comes out of this team when they needed somebody to make a play. They knew they could always count on you to get that kill when they needed it. What does this feel like for you and Cloud9? Dude, this is my first, uh, I guess the first land in forever. We got to win the first infinite event. I'm literally so excited. And I'm glad to do it with these guys. There's only one first. Yo, you guys, man. Hell yeah. Out nine, your champions of HCS Rally. Give it up for one more time. Hell yeah. That's so lit. Hey, man, again, I'm going to wrap up this video. As they're going to take back over to the commentary booth. I don't think anything else crazy is going to happen. Who's at the booth right now? Hold on. Got my man, oh, she. All right, hey, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. There's only one first for the 2021 for Halo Infinite. There's only one first champion. It's something that people remember. You remember the first champion? You remember the grand champion? I remember the 2008 Halo 3 world champions being straight ripping. I remember watching that straight through. I couldn't stop watching it. It was absolutely incredible. You can only have one first for Halo Infinite, and it happens to be C9. It happens to be Cloud9 Gaming with the bright blue, the baby blue, that cyan and white flashing up. Penguin gets the first win. They win four games to one in E United. Absolutely dominant. Dominant. And uh, I wish I could have shoutcasted the whole thing in more games, and I would, I would like to do it in the future. I have fun doing it. It's always a blast. I'm going to go ahead and head out. On that note, we're going to have links to everything in the description box down below playlist up on screen as always check back for gameplays commentaries news and updates later nerds